Hey guys and welcome to another episode of Let's Max Warframe. Today we're going to be taking a look at a new set of bullet hose secondary weapons released in update 16.3 based on the infamous Soma, the Axomati. The Soma has become one of the most used weapons in the game over time and with the release of the Prime recently it's all been about the Soma. While riding the coattails of those two come the Axomati. With a base damage of 18, with the majority 9 coming in the form of Slash, 7.2 as Puncture and 1.8 as Impact. The Axomati immediately clock in as the joint highest damaging of all of the bullet host secondary weapons, alongside the Axe Stiletto. But the amazing stats don't stop there. It also comes with a fantastic 20% critical chance and an absolutely crazy 300% critical damage multiplier, which easy and immediately made up my mind about which way I was going to go with the build and means that this weapon, although it's got a low base damage, hits like absolutely nothing else when it crits. The weapon itself is also fantastic to handle with a large magazine size of 70 and actually a pretty decent rate of fire of 12 and a half rounds a second. In addition to this, although the weapon does have a spool up time, it is fairly short. And when you take into account mods like Lethal Torrent, it really doesn't feel like there's much of a spool up at all. Although, that said, while the weapon does look pretty amazing on paper, and well, quite frankly it is, it's not immune to some failings. The reload at 2.8 seconds is not exactly particularly short, and when coupled with the decent fire rate, you are going to be reloading a lot, meaning the weapon can actually feel fairly clunky and slow to work with. In addition to that, the accuracy is not the greatest either, and over long range, you really can feel that accuracy loss. Which is seriously odd when you consider that it's based on the pinpoint accurate Soma. The Axomati also comes with a status chance of just 5%, which is so low that no status build is even going to be worth considering. But then when you have the crit as good as it is, that's not exactly the end of the world. Okay, so let's move on to starting to mod the Axomati. Now, it does come with a dash polarity as standard. However, we're going to add another five polarities through former, which is going to be four Vs and a dash. Now, we've got a whole bunch of mods. In fact, the majority of the mods are going to remain the same between all three of our builds. We've got Hornet Strike for damage, Barrel Diffusion for multi-shot. We've got Lethal Torrent, which is going to help with the fire rate, which is going to help the spool up of the weapon as well as increasing the multi-shot. We've got Prime Pistol Mutation, which is going to help, uh, help convert some of that ammunition into uh, pistol ammunition and just help the ammo consumption of the weapon. We've got Pistol Gambit for crit chance, which takes the critical chance and up to a pretty decent 44%, bearing in mind how quickly this fires, that is very, very good. And Target Cracker, which brings the crit damage up to a 4.8 times, which is absolutely fantastic. Now, because this is only going to have two elemental mods on, we are going to mod for the strongest thing that is going to be against each of the factions. So for Grenier, we're going to mod for the Heavy Grenier, and go with Convulsion and Prime to Charge, which is going to bring up Radiation. For Corpus, we're going to go with Deep Freeze and Convulsion to bring up Magnetic Damage. And for the Void, Pathogen Rounds and Convulsion, which is to bring up Corrosive. Now if you've got corrosive, uh, the Corrosive Projection, you could always switch these out and go with the Viral Build. These will also do fantastically well against the Grenier if you want to do the Viral Build instead of going for the Radiation. So on to my recommendation as to whether it's worth the time, effort and former invested into it. And the answer to that is absolutely yes it is. The weapon is top tier. Absolutely top tier. The thing hits like an absolute truck. It's crit after crit after crit. And with that insane damage multiplier, the damage output from this thing is absolutely insane. This thing actually pumps out more damage more quickly than the original Soma at the expense of accuracy. The original Soma is absolutely pinpoint accurate. However, the Axomati, as I said, does suffer from accuracy. The majority of the time you are going to be using this at close range, at which that accuracy loss really doesn't affect it very much. But the thing is, not only does this weapon perform absolutely amazing, 
it sounds amazing and hands down has the best reload animation of any weapon in the game. It looks absolutely incredible. However, on the flip side I do have to kind of question the need for this sort of weapon. Do we really need a more damaging Soma type weapon for secondary weapons? Surely if you want to just use a Soma type weapon, you could very easily use the Soma. Now I understand that people like the Soma, but I do question whether we actually need something like this, rather than something that's a little bit different, a little bit more, more unique, a bit quirky. Because quite frankly, it plays pretty much exactly like a Soma, a little bit less accurate, but it still doesn't feel that much different. Look, I like the weapon, it's definitely good, and as I said, I'd go so far to say that it is top tier with the damage that it puts out. I just question the need for it. Perhaps it's me being grumpy, but I do have to question this. So in effect, insane damage, amazing crit, and the best reload animation in the game, at the expense of accuracy and ammo efficiency. If you like the Soma, and wanted a secondary to go along with it, then this is absolutely the weapon for you. It's the best bullet hose in the game, and one of the best secondaries in general. Well worth the resources, and worth a place in your loadout. As always guys, many many thanks for the support. Please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, it helps me out a ton, and I shall see you in the next episode. Thank you.